nothing for us out here, it'd be just ruin. On the high plains of eastern New Mexico, Carl and Justin Johnson tend their cattle. It's just a way of life, more ranching just a way of life. The windswept land has sustained the family for four generations, and for about just as long, the Johnsons have battled oil companies drilling throughout the ranch. They just don't give a damn. The father and son are old school cowboys who don't mince their words about their oil industry neighbors. It was sterilized. There was no vegetation whatsoever. They leased the land from the state on which their livestock graze, but they cannot prevent oil companies from drilling here. Five years ago, 420,000 gallons of oil-filled wastewater spilled on the land. It's a byproduct of oil and gas exploration. The toxic metal and salt-laden water turned the acreage into a hard, crusty moonscape. And the oil companies, they, they could do what we asked them to do. And it wouldn't even make a blip on their expense sheet. The Johnsons say they've spent tens of thousands of dollars mainly in legal and environmental costs, taking oil and gas drillers to task for not properly cleaning or preventing wastewater spills. This is all saltwater disposal leaks. Their plight shows a largely overlooked side effect of oil and gas production, wastewater spills that foul the land, kill wildlife, and threaten freshwater supplies. If you have a brine spill that is not properly attended, basically that land that's been impacted has been taken. Carrie Sublette is a soil remediation expert who works on projects to repair land damaged by salt water and oil spills. Brine spills are a huge issue. Anywhere that you have oil and gas production, you're going to have um, you're going to have releases. The Associated Press took a look at data from top oil producing states and found over a six year period more than 175 million gallons of oil wastewater spills, either from ruptured pipes, overflowing storage tanks, deliberate dumping, or accidents. It will recover, but it'll probably take about five years before we start really growing anything right in this area. Just like what happened to Don Stoker, who lives in Snyder, Texas. Once the, the pipeline ruptured over here, it flowed through the terrace system out into my field and then it started draining out of the field and then the salt stayed on the surface to a certain extent causing the damage out here. That was in 2012. This soil is only producing green shoots three years later. You're never going to find a risk-free form of energy whether we're talking renewables or fossil fuel development. Katie Brown, a spokeswoman for an education group tied to the oil industry, says American energy production is way up, but claims in proportion wastewater spills are down. The, the men and women who work in the oil and gas industry are absolutely committed to spill prevention. They, they live in these communities. They want their environment to be preserved as well. Oil companies pay to repair those spills because they have to. It's the law in most states. But even with the cleanup ranchers, Carl and Justin Johnson say their ranch land will never be the same. John Moat Associated Press, Crossroads, New Mexico.